What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix Forza Horizon 5 not installing on the Xbox Game Pass slash Microsoft Store. It's super simple and the reason I'm inside of Windows 10 now is because I'll be running some commands I don't want to run on my main computer because we'll be reinstalling the Windows Store. If everything's working properly, you shouldn't be running these commands, but if things are broken for you, these commands will help fix the issues. So let's start with the most common fix for Forza Horizon 5 in particular that's been working for everyone all over the place. It may seem drastic, but we'll be completely uninstalling and reinstalling the Windows Store. Hit start and type in PowerShell that we'll be running as administrator. Click yes when prompted for admin, and inside of here we'll be copying and pasting the command from the description down below. Get AppX package, everything by the name of Windows Store, and then remove them. I'll hit enter and the Windows Store and their packages should be removed from my computer. If you search for Store on your hotbar, you'll see that the Windows Store is no longer there. Awesome, so now we successfully completely uninstalled it. At this point, we'll need to reboot our computer before continuing. Now that we're back in Windows, I'll hit Start, type in PowerShell once again, and run it as administrator. When it pops up, I'll copy the next command from the description down below to reinstall the Windows Store. Hit Enter and wait for the Windows Store to reinstall. When it has, you should be able to search for the Windows Store and open it up here. Now that it's opening up, you'll probably be asked to log in again, but when it's done, you should be able to download the game that you weren't able to download before. The game being Forza 5. Super simple, and of course, it's not too difficult to do. On top of this, if this didn't work for you, the absolute simplest solution besides this is using the Xbox app to download Forza 5. If you don't already have the Xbox app, simply search the Microsoft Store for Xbox, download, install it, open it up, sign in, and then look for Forza 5 on there. It's basically the same, though it can start the download a bit differently, which could fix the issue with your Microsoft Store. Next up, if that still didn't work, the third fix is simply signing out and signing back in, and of course, making sure your time zone is correct, letting your computer know what's going on. So I'll click my icon in the top right, and then sign out of my account. When I've done so, I'll right click the time in my start bar and then adjust the date and time. This may be a bit different for you on Windows 10. Inside of here, you'll see the current date and time. Simply turn off set time automatically. Make sure that the time zone is set to the correct time zone for you, which in my case is plus two. Then turn the set time automatically back on. Of course, if your time zone's correct, just turning off set time automatically and putting it back on should refresh your time and get everything working properly. Or you can also click the sync now button down here to sync with Microsoft. Anyways, now we can close out of that and we can simply sign back into the Microsoft store here. And there we go. Now you should be able to download it and get it working properly. Now let's just assume that it still doesn't work. What else can we try? All you have to do is head across to library on the left hand side here, though it may be different for you on Windows 10. And in this library tab here, simply locate Forza on the list. You can also sort by games only, and you should have it here as long as you've tried to install it before. Upon doing so, you'll see an install button or a download from the cloud button, allowing you to download it here. That's just simply if the download button itself isn't working on the Forza page. Now let's say that it still isn't working. What else can we try? Well, we can try resetting the Windows Store and clearing the local cache to make sure that nothing is left behind. So for this, I'll hold Start and press R, then I'll type in percentage local app data percentage and hit Enter. Inside of here, I'll navigate into Packages, then Microsoft.Windows Store. If you don't see this page, you need to head across to View at the very top and make sure Hidden Items is checked. Once in here, open up the local cache folder and we'll be selecting everything in here, then deleting it. Just make sure that the Windows Store is closed at this current point in time. Now that we've deleted all of the local cache files from the Windows Store, we'll be resetting the actual store app. This can be done in one of two ways. The second way is more powerful, but I'm pretty sure you can do both of them at once just to get two things out of the way and hopefully nuke it back into working condition. First of all, we'll reset the Windows Store through the Settings app. So start, settings, I'll head across to apps, then apps and features, and all we need to do is look for the Windows Store here, Microsoft Store. I'll click the three dots next to it, advanced options, and inside of this menu here, all we need to do is scroll down to reset. Simply click repair, and then reset down here. This should be somewhat similar to reinstalling it using PowerShell, which we already did, but there is a much more powerful command on top of this. I'm doing all of these just to make sure nothing is left behind, 
called WS Reset. Press Start and type in WSRESET, WS Reset, Windows Store Reset. Simply click Open here and wait for this to run through to completion. This is going to completely clear the Windows Store and hopefully get things working properly. So to recap, we've cleared the cache, we've reset it from our apps list, and now we're completely resetting it using Microsoft's official tool. Whether these things all do the same thing or parts of the same thing, we've made absolutely sure that nothing will be left behind from the previous install. Now things should hopefully be working properly. Assuming that things aren't, what else can we do from here? Well, the last thing you can really try before you go on your way looking for more tips and tricks is to simply run the store troubleshooter. You may be successful with this and find out what's causing the issue, or you may not be. I'll hit start and type in fix store as such, and you should see find and fix problems with Windows Store apps. Click this, click advanced, and make sure apply or repairs automatically is ticked, then click next and wait for it to scan your computer. If it finds any issues, it'll try a couple of known fixes, then it should try and fix it by itself. If it runs through to completion and finds an issue that it fixes, there should be a tick next to it, meaning that things have been fixed and you should be able to use it as per normal now. However, if you see an X like this, something wasn't able to be fixed, but I don't think there's any hanging or crashing apps here. I'm not too sure what it's on about. Who knows really? I guess it has something to do with this. Not too sure. Anyways, it should try and fix itself. Hopefully it does, because that means less effort for you. But regardless, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found this video useful and hopefully it fixed your issue. My name's been Techno Behavior Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.